if you or the man in your life needs a new challenge at the braai, this is it. Try a burnt chicken. It is an absolute breeze to cook and once you've mastered the art, very easy to do. Now, we use a good fresh chicken, the bigger and the more muscly, the better. And we remove the wing tips, just these very end ugly bits. You can never get all the feathers off. The other important thing is the knives. Number one, if you have a little chicken boning knife, which not people, many people will have, alternatively any sharp pointed little knife with a sharp cut size, or failing that, our friend Scarpi or the serrated little Viratoranox knife will do perfectly well. First incision along the backbone. Then you turn it over, loosen the skin a little bit. The first thing you remove are the wishbone. Once you've got the wishbone out, then it's a very simple matter of peeling away, cutting away the meat off the carcass. Then your next obstacle comes when you get to the top of the wings and the top of the, the legs. And then all you do is you lift up the carcass and you cut away the meat from the breastbone. Here's our chicken, beautifully deboned, and this is everything that you get out of the chicken after the deboning. Now, the next step is to season the inside of that chicken really, really well. And you can see if we open it up, the only bones left are the bones in the top of the wings and the drumsticks. Now, we've got two fillets, mini fillets, sitting on top of the breast here. Just remove them and position them a little bit lower, just so that the entire carcass is evenly covered with an even layer of meat. Right, and keep the skin flap out. Now the next step is to season the chicken really well with the Brian Grill seasoning. And then we spread some, a generous amount of the tomato pesto over the chicken. And then we're going to drizzle it with the olive oil. Now we bring the sides of the bird up, pull the skin flap in. Now you can, if you're really challenged on the sewing front, just skewer it up with a kebab stick or with two toothpicks for the smaller, but it is actually much nicer to sew it up properly. And if somewhere in your grandmother's sewing kit you find one of these bent needles, that is the perfect tool. Otherwise, one can use one of these big professional needles for sewing up meat, or failing that, you use an ordinary big darning needle. And we've just got some strong string, very fine string, and put a knot in the bottom. And then you simply just start sewing. Now we turn the chicken over and you can see we've got another gap here that we need to sew up. Now once the sewing is finished, then we are going to rub the outside of the chicken really well with olive oil. We don't need to season the outside because the seasoning on the outside will be done by the uh, the barbecue or the marinade that we put over it. Now we put the bird into a micro safe dish with a little bit of a lip 
so that the bird is nicely contained. Now she goes into the microwave oven on about 50-60% power and you do it for roughly 15 minutes. Now this microwave chicken, which is now cooked on the inside, it's really just the outside that we want to brown. It's quite nice if one has a, a flat sheet or something. Please keep this, this is the most wonderful juice mixed with a little bit of the, of the brine grill sauce to brush or to dip some lovely bread in to eat with the chicken. Now, we just put some sauce over this, just brush it nicely. We're really just going to finish off the outside on the briar. This sauce in here is gold. Let's just add a little bit of the marinade, the barbecue marinade, to it just to pick up on the flavors that we already have. And then this can go into the microwave just to heat it through. Now this chicken, covered with foil, has had it to rest for about 10 minutes. Now look how easy this is. You simply just pull the string out. Comes out without any hassle. Now just look how easy the carving is. You slice the carcass in the middle. No bones to navigate around. Remember, we've left the drumstick on. So just cut the drumstick through. We've left the last bit of the wing on. Just cut the wing off and now you've got a perfect little roll, so to speak, to carve. Now the guests will help themselves to a delicious juicy piece of chicken, perfectly carved. And then you pass the sauce or you give little bowls of individual sauce and bon appetit.